just arrived at the Aviation Museum. As you can see, a Hawk T1, English Electric Lightning, a couple of other stuff. And just behind there, you can see a V1 German rocket bomber. I'll be taking you through out there. Just take the picture. Oh, you put the, just press the flash down. Yeah, there you go. So as you can see, I'm sat inside. That's we got the safety button on. Now I'm in fire mode. A load of different buttons. You can see. Loads of different buttons. Got your nose trim. Got your throttle. Flaps. Idle. All the stuff like that. But this would be very uncomfortable. Very. You can see. So I'm currently sat in a Seahawk. As you can see, actually, you can. You've got your, yeah, you got your rudders down there. There you are in the cockpit. So we've just entered the hangar now, we're looking through all the different aircraft models. Of course I will be buying quite a few, we've got some of the history. So we are here at this bit somewhere, the studio main runway, that's the airport. As you can see, that's a Seahawk, just been inside as you saw. But all these were donated by one person. You know, loads of different. Got an A10, and this is the hangar that we're currently in. Got Catalina, loads of different stuff. We've got um, an amazing Vulcan bomber. Jesus. Vickers VC-10, Concorde, got English Electric Lightning, no way, got TSR-2, that's amazing, got a UFO, Luftwaffe UFOs, got gliders, got a load of more, got these, got a load of different aircraft in here, it's amazing. Even more around here. I'll have a read of that in a minute. You've got, you've got the model of the Dam Busters, Saban's Wallace. I'll go in there in a second. There we go. As you can see, when it comes along, destroys that up. We got a load of stuff. Go have a Vulcan bomber prototype down there. And this is it. Area of St. Morgan as well. So, so this is the cockpit of a Nimrod. So if we, uh, if we go up and have a look. There you are. So as you can see, you'd have one, two, three, you'd have three people in the cockpit, but you'd probably have a crew of about five or six. 
that's that. All the testing panels, your, your throttles. So now I'm currently sat in a Hawker Harrier. Harrier jump jet. So there's just there is 673 pounds of fuel remaining. I'm guessing that would be the sights for like the bombs and things or the rockets or whatever. You got your radios, got your laser controls. I only just fit in here. And this canopy would would close. Yeah, wood. You won't be able to move or anything. Here's like some of the controls. You got your throttles down here and everything. You got your, you got your firing stick and your th throttle and everything. It's really cool this. Really, really cool. But I only just fit in here. Like this whole place is amazing. I mean, I'd love to start my own thing like this. It's just so cool. This is it. So let's just come up to the the 111, the VC10. Got, a, got more of my models. I've got four now. Really good value, to be honest. As you can see, there's an old Thomas Cup there. And this is the VC10.